I'm joined by the Members First Credit Union of Florida Prep Star of the Week, Evans Bozeman, who plays for the Catholic High Crusaders. Evans, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a junior first baseman, also pitch. Uh, I've been here all three years of my high school career. And I have, actually have two rings for my freshman and sophomore year, which has been great experiences. Um, you know, we have great teammates here. You know, all, my, all the teammates get along. We're all friends. We do stuff together. We have a great coaching staff. You know, all, everybody at our school supports us, so it's, it's good. What did it feel like to win those two rings? Uh, it was great. Uh, to win two rings as a freshman and sophomore is pretty, you know, pretty good feeling. Uh, my freshman year, I actually did not, you know, play in the postseason, but I, you know, got the experience, and I think that helped me out with my sophomore year because my sophomore year I started all 30 games and was, you know, a big part of the team. So it was, it was a good experience. What are some of your hobbies? Uh, I actually live on the water, so I like to fish. Uh, you know. Hang out with friends on weekends, you know, we'll either hit, you know, hang out at the house, the Xbox, stuff like that. Have you caught any big fish this year so yeah, far? Yeah, I've caught some big fish. What's the biggest one? Uh, I've caught a couple over 40 inch redfish at my house. That's pretty good. Yes, sir. Do you listen to uh, any kind of pump up music before a game? Uh, most of our team is into rock or rap music just because I think it gets us going a little bit, so. If I had to pick a genre, I can say that. Recap this season so far for the Catholic Crusaders. Uh, we're 6-0 and right now, and uh, we had a tough game last Friday that we pulled out against West Florida, 5-2. to um, You know, I mean, I think we have a chance to do it again. I think that, you know, as long as we, you know, play within ourselves, <clears throat> play within ourselves and do what we need to do, we have a good shot. Tell us a little bit about last week's game against West Florida High. Um, we started off the game. I think the first four innings were scoreless, and then we got a we got a big hit, and it was one to zero. And then they they scored, so it was tied one to one. And then we had a big sixth inning, which got us up five to one. And, uh, the final score was five to two. So I mean, it was a tough fought victory, and I think it was good for our team to go through a game like that because I know that. You know, farther down the road, we're going to have some tough games. How important is it to be a team player in the game of baseball? Well, I mean, that's why there's nine of us out there. You know, it's a team sport for sure. And, uh, you know, if you're a pitcher and someone makes an error behind you, then you got to, you know, keep going and step up and support your team. So I think that, you know, it's it's a big part, you know, leading your team on and encouraging kids to, you know, do what they need to do. Now, you play first base and pitch. Which of the two is your favorite position? Um, well, I've pitched all my life, but a couple of years ago I had an arm injury that you know, made me stop. <clears throat> but first base, I started. <clears throat> first base, I started playing actually my freshman year in high school, and uh, you know I've got I've gotten good over there. And uh, but they at the coaching staff asked me this year if I could, you know, pitch because they got kind of, they needed guys to step up, and I said absolutely, and. Uh, I'm a competitive guy, so getting out there and pitching comes pretty easy to me. How do you feel when you start a game and you're not pitching? Um, I mean, last year I didn't pitch at all. So when I play first base and don't pitch, I mean, it's it's pretty normal to me. You know, it's it's a good feeling, and I, uh, I'm pretty comfortable over there. Now, do you like fielding or batting better? I'd say hitting is my thing. I mean, uh I had a pretty good year last year at the plate, and uh, that's what I enjoy most is hitting. What is your mindset entering a game? Um, I try to just stay relaxed, you know, not think about it too much. You know, I mean, I know we have a great team, and I know that you know all we have to do is just play our game and do our thing, and we should be all right. So I just try to, you know, not get too too worried or too excited about it, and just just play how we know how to play. Now, I know you're only a junior, but do you have college plans in mind? Uh, yeah, I, the summer team I play for, it's, it's called Perfect Game, and uh, they do a great job of promoting players and getting players' looks. And uh, I've actually been to Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Florida, Tennessee, and Vanderbilt. So uh, hopefully I have some options this upcoming year. Out of those schools that you've been to and looked at, <clears throat> 
Which do you like better? I like the two Mississippi schools, Ole Miss and Mississippi State, definitely. They uh, they kind of showed out a little bit, but uh, Mississippi, they're both a little different. Mississippi, University of Mississippi is kind of more in a city type, and Mississippi State is more kind of in the middle of nowhere, you can say, but both have really good baseball programs. When you do, in fact, go to college, what are you hoping to accomplish there? Uh, I'm trying to carry over the success that I've had on the high school level, definitely. You know, I, I want to go somewhere that has a good, you know, history because, you know, I'm, I'm used to winning and uh, definitely just focus on the things I need to get better at and just keep improving my game. Now, is Major League Baseball in the future plans someday? I hope so. I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm working hard and that's my goal. So, you know, as long as it takes me is, is you know, what I'm, what I'm going to do. What Major League Baseball team do you currently pull for? I like the Atlanta Braves. I, you know, they're the closest team to us. And, you know, I grew up, my grandfather loved the Braves. So, it's probably my favorite team. Who's your favorite Braves player? Uh, I was Chipper Jones before he retired. But uh, I like Jason Hayward. Even though he's lefty and I'm righty, I just like the way he plays. Who has had the most influence on your career? I definitely, I'd say Coach Labonte. You know, uh, he's hard on us. But, you know, at the same time, we understand the reason he's hard on us because he cares about us. You know, he wants us to win. So you just got to understand that. And, you know, he's a great coach. He's had, you know, more success than – anybody in the state and even country. So, you know, I, I trust what he says, and I know that he knows what he's doing. And uh, he's, he's been like a second dad while I've been here at Catholic High. What's the most important thing he has taught you about baseball? Um, he teaches us a lot about baseball, but he also teaches us about life. I mean, you know, probably every day he has a different life lesson to tell us. And uh, he's always teaching us how to be better men and how to do things in life. And, yeah, you know, I appreciate that because a lot of guys, a lot of coaches are just worried about the team and worried about the success, but he's also worried about, you know, our future and how we're going to do things once we leave high school. Is there anything that you would like to say to those listening out there today? Uh, go Cat High. I mean, you know, just we're going we're gonna to keep doing our, you know, hardest to keep this streak going and hopefully everybody will keep supporting us. This has been Chase Northcutt with your Members First Credit Union of Florida Prep Star of the Week, Evans Bozeman.